Hi there. So in a previous video with FME, uh, it was some time ago actually, I just showed you how to upload, uh, upload data, well it was editing data, to an existing feature service uh, using FME. So the, the service already existed. So in this video I'm just going to show you what, what, what you do to write a completely new feature service. So let's go to, um, let's put a reader in first of all. So I've got um, some uh, buildings data from um, actually in Washington DC, which is a, a demo data set. So I'll just read those. So that, that's just off my local system. So what I want to do is publish this to make a new service in Arches Online. So that's a writer. So I'm just going to take it straight. I'm not going to do any um, anything at all to it. So the writer will be Arches Online. Uh, and there it is, I've used it before, so it it appears. Um, and now if I click on parameters, I haven't used this for a while, so it may want me to re-authenticate, let's just. So the, the ArcGIS Online connection is just called My ArcGIS Online, that's what I've um, created before, that connection. So um, let's see what happens if I click on the file. So there we go. I kind of expected that because I haven't used this connection for a bit, so it's the authentication he's redoing. So what happens when this all sort of falls apart, whether it's read or writer on Arches Online? We've well, got to re-authenticate. Well, how do you do that? Cancel all this, go to Tools, FME Options, go to Web Connections, select your Arches Online connection, whatever it is, right-hand click, and go to re-authenticate. It will prompt you for your um, all your uh, details again. So once you've typed in, it's now got the token and it's sorted. So I press OK. So now I'll put the writer back in. So it's oh, just online. Um, it's it's a writer and click on parameter. What's the connection? It's my oh, just online, and uh, I can click on the um, the feature service. That'll just be from root. There we go. So there's some sample stuff that I've got got all there, um, got there already. So if the, if this data was the kind of same that I wanted, and um, you know I was actually kind of updating, it. maybe I was updating this pubs there. Let's click on that. Uh, two buildings uh, with with this building data. Um, I could you know use that writer and update it, do transform and 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 whatever. But actually. What I could do here is just get rid of all that because I want to create a new one. So I'm going to say DC build. I'm just going to type it in, and it could be in any folder or, or you know a group or whatever. And and yes, I'm going to create it. Um, sort your um, projection systems, WKID, what, what, whatever. Um, that's up to you. So now I press OK. So it's just called DC buildings, and just to um, and then I'll just uh, copy from reader. And so that will set up all that for the uh, writer. Now, if I just reduce this, you can see underneath here, there certainly is no, um, you know, all my content. There'll, there'll be nothing about uh, DC buildings in there. So um, let's go back. I'll hook these two up. There you go. So it's just going to take that those attributes from, from the reader. There's very few. But you know, I just typed in what what it's going to be. So let's run it. So you're literally just overwriting what's um, you know you're just typing into the box what what, what you want. So now if I minimise, get rid of this. So after a few minute few moments, um, it'll uh, display a new feature there. See, it's all created. One thing to notice if you, if you go straight in there. You may actually capture the uh, the sort of creation of a geo database because it actually puts a geo database there first, and then it publishes the feature there. And if I just refresh this, I think it actually does get rid of the geo database. I don't, th yeah, I don't think it. Um, I think it, it it goes. So FME does this temporary bit of storing the geo database there. Um, so if I click on DC buildings on this feature there, you'll see I've got a whole new item ID. It's a whole new um, feature service with all the usual settings and um, there it is DC buildings is the um, layer 
and the source is a feature service so it's all got the good old you know endpoints and stuff all the fields and it's yeah it's just a normal feature service so the thing you just have to remember is on the parameters there um you're just typing in uh, the new name that's that's all you need to do and you'll get it created and that like i said that will just create it in the user content could be a group um user content uh root folder uh, create if needed yes i hope you find that useful